Hi there, this is my review for the Toys Era 1 6 scale um, Joker Joaquin Phoenix figure. This is the outer sleeve that the figure comes packed in, being that, um, from what I understand, it's not an officially licensed product. They can't use the Joker name, so that's what they put on the box. Happy face. That's the brown shipper box that came in. It's just a plain brown box. Um, definitely not if you're a Hot Toys collector. It's definitely not the same type of thick uh, brown shipper box that Hot Toys ships their stuff in. So, I mean, right there I did notice a little bit of quality difference between the actual packaging. With Hot Toys will give you a better quality in packaging um, than this Toys Era figure. Um, but that's kind of the only really negatives I could really point out. I mean, here's the actual figure itself. I think they did a phenomenal job with the piece. Absolutely love the head sculpt. The paint application, I think they did great. Very vibrant, colorful, very clean job. The material on the clothes is like a nice silk material. It's definitely not cheap clothing. Um, it's definitely good quality. When we're talking in regards to the clothing, um, the head sculpt comes with two other sculpts. You have the plain face with no um, no makeup. And yes, I have also another face with the clown makeup with him smiling. You can see very clean job on the paint. What else you get in the box? You get four other hands. You get the clown mask, flowers. You get the cigarette, which this you have to be careful with because it really, I mean, just a little piece of paper that you could easily bend or damage in your hands. I'm not going to pose it with this because of how small and thin it is. Um, even the actual packaging it came in that little spot. It was supposed to be in that little spot and um, when I opened up, it wasn't in there. It had fallen in the box, and I ended up finding it behind the clown mask. Um, my box actually came a little damaged over there, so I guess in shipping, it came from China, so who knows? Um, in shipping, somebody looks like somebody even stepped on the box. So they did package it well. It came, not only did it come in this, there was like another brown, thicker uh, shipping box that I guess the seller wrapped it around and. That probably protected it because the figure could have easily been broken or damaged. It looked like somebody had stepped on it, like I said. This is another sleeve that comes with it. You can see mine is all creased. So, yeah. I mean, just to give you a uh, size comparison. Okay, this is... The Sideshow 1-6 scale Joker that they're currently selling on their site. And I do prefer prefer the live action um, actor characters. So this is now my new favorite um, Joker piece. Uh, I mean, if we had to compare quality wise between Toys Era, from my experience, from Toys Era, Hot, uh, Hot Toys and Sideshow... I mean, I would say, you know, the head sculpts are all on par with each other. Um, the clothing, I would actually give the edge to, if I was just going to compare these two now. Um, the clothing on the Toys Hour, I think it's definitely a better quality clothing than than this, than the Sideshow. Um, the actual posable figure underneath, I still think Hot Toys gives you the best uh, posable figure. But by no means are these, you know, nothing, that, by no means are these nothing that you wouldn't, like to have in your you know your collection if you're a joker fan or if you love the movie or whatever um this makes a really nice displayable piece um again if the only negative i could really say is that you know the cheaper plastic underneath the clothes but who's really going to pose this figure without the clothes on um i mean you might i don't know if that's what you're into but anyway um it does pose nice it does whatever pose you pretty much want i mean i just like leaving my figures with the basic standing pose in my collection um so yeah i mean that's it 
Um, hope you enjoyed this review. I mean, if you have any questions or comments, you know, I'd be happy to hear from you if you want to like it. Um, this is my first review, so, you know, take it easy on me on the comments. Um, I do have a decent collection, so little by little I'm going to be posting some other reviews of some other figures and um, Hot Toys figures I have, some uh, Prime 1 Studio statues I have, um, Hot Toys figures I have, DC collectible figures, uh, statues. Um, so yeah, little by little I'll be posting some other stuff. So um, thanks again for watching.